What's up guys? I just got the new Toshiba Fire TV Edition set in for review. I'm not going to deep dive into the Fire TV operating system, because let's face it, there are thousands of other videos on YouTube showing how to use it. I'm just going to run through a quick setup and give my thoughts and impressions on the usability and picture quality. The set I have on hand is the 50 inch model, but it does come in a 43 and 55 inch versions. The 50 inch here retails for $399, and as of right now, is a Best Buy exclusive, so it can only be bought through them or through Amazon, of course. All right, so let's get this thing unboxed and go over some specs. Inside, we get some handling instructions, a two prong power cord, the remote with voice control, and two feet that mount under the television. Mounting the feet is fairly simple. There are left and right indicators on the feet themselves and pegs which you have to align on the bottom of the TV set. Install the provided screws and you're done. For those concerned, the feet are 27 inches apart, so if you're placing this on some furniture, be sure you have at least a 27 inch wide space. Build quality is average with an all-plastic build. The TV is 3.5 inches in depth, so it isn't super thick, but it isn't the slimmest set either. On the back of the TV are inputs for USB and 3 HDMIs. There's also an optical output and 3.5mm headphone jack. On the bottom is one composite input, an Ethernet jack, and the coax input. Setting up the TV is pretty straightforward. When you turn it on, you'll have to connect it to your network, and it'll download any firmware updates if it's needed. The whole process takes around 10 minutes. Now let's give a look at the 4K picture quality by testing out Daredevil on Netflix. It's a dark show, so we'll see how it handles black levels. The TV does support HDR, but not Dolby Vision as you can see here on the info screen. I know it's hard to tell in the video, but black levels aren't so great. They are somewhat grayish and muddy looking, but this is a budget set, so you shouldn't be expecting any miracles. Let's pop in some Narcos and see how the colors look. Now this does look very punchy, and it does get very bright. The corners are a bit dark, but you'll get that on even the most expensive LED sets. Now one thing I couldn't do was adjust my picture settings while I was watching content. I'd have to back out of what I was watching and dig into the picture settings. This kind of makes it impossible to get the picture just right. So if I'm missing something, let me know in the comments below. But I just couldn't find any way to adjust the settings on the fly. Now if you're someone who doesn't like to tinker with getting the best image, then this most likely won't be an issue. All right, just a quick check in the Amazon app shows there is 4K content and it does look very clean. Okay, so this is clearly a budget TV and for $399, it's a solid performer. Image quality should be sufficient for most people shopping in this price point and a 50 inch 4K TV for under 400 bucks, it does look pretty darn good. It provided some very punchy and vivid colors, but it won't compete with a Samsung QLED in the brightness category. Black levels are okay, but you'll be losing a lot of shadow detail in the darkest parts of your screen. If you're watching a movie with letterboxing, you'll see the black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen are more grayish than they are black. If you're a discerning viewer, this may drive you nuts. But again, for $399, these are some shortcomings I think most people can live with. The smart features is the main selling point here, and if you're a Fire TV or Amazon Echo user, you should have no problem using this set. One thing to note, since it does have Alexa features cooked in, you may be worried that the TV is always listening. But rest assured, Alexa will only activate if you press the microphone button on the remote so it's not going to be listening in on your private conversations. So who's this TV for? If you're not a video file or you just need a spare TV for the bedroom or dorm room, you might want to head down to your local Best Buy and give the Toshiba a look. It's got 4K HDR and the picture isn't half bad. The smart features are some of the best on any television set at any price point, so it won't break your bank. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check the latest prices. And if you own the TV, let me know in the comments what you think about it. Give us a thumbs up if you found the video useful and be sure to check out our social media links. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you guys again in the next one.